What's up guys, here we are. So this is the video that I've been promising for a while. I keep holding it off because I keep buying more pops. But I said, screw it. I'm gonna finally do it. I'm gonna show you guys my whole pop collection as of today. And you know, like I said, tomorrow I'll probably add on a couple more. Uh, there are a couple pops I did wanna mention though that I'll throw a picture to. Uh, the Rocco's Modern Life pops. I ordered the chases of both the guys and they will be coming in later. They, I, I mean, they were already supposed to be here by today, but they haven't, they got delayed in transit. So whatever. UPS, you're screwing me over, but of course, you guys are going to see everything that I have. I cannot wait to show you guys my pop collection, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. Let's just start at this wall. This is obviously my basic wall that you guys see all my videos from behind me on, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move right up here, and you're going to find my Neomorph with Toddler and Xenomorph. This is with my Alien collection, of course. These are really the only Alien movies that I ever really liked, but I love these two pops. I think they're a ton of fun. I'll zoom in on that. This is the GameStop exclusive. You see the blood all over him. You see the Neomorph, the Toddler. I, I love the look of those, and then of course, you go up here, you got little Iron Man and Spider-Man going over there, and as we move to the side, you see Captain America guarding the Spider-Man Homecoming Target exclusive. We go down here, you see Trunks from Dragon Ball Z, let's zoom in on you, you little boy right there, and we also move down back, you can find Princess Leia and R2-D2, this is a 2017 Summer Comic Con exclusive, I really like this pop, and that pop, the uh, Princess Leia rests in peace, you actually, uh, she glows in the dark. Uh, so Overwatch, big fan of Overwatch, this is D.Va with Mecha, I really like this D.Va pop, I like the color tone of it, I like the pink tone too, I have the pink one somewhere else, I will get to later in this video, but I do like this whole black tone. And then we go down here, Dragon Ball Z Shinron, Shinron is here, and this is one of like my most beautiful pops, as you can kind of look in there, you can kind of see some of the Dragon Balls around him, it, it's just a great pop in general. Uh, and then of course, I'll move these to the side really fast. Uh, you got Gorilla Grodd. This is a present from one of my best friends, and uh, Gorilla Grodd is a fantastic pop. This is in my top 10 pops that I own. And then, of course, we got Little right here that I just actually got yesterday. This is my Ice King in Vizrion from Game of Thrones. Now, this is spoilers if you're not caught up on Game of Thrones. Sorry, but I love this pop to death. I think this pop is great. Um, now, going down here, these are some other pops that you do see in my, sometimes in my background. This is Stitch riding his little ride. And then, of course, we got Boba Fett right here and his Slave 1. I love those pops. Now, going back up to here, this is one of my most prized possessions, and that is Bane from The Dark Knight Rises. I love the look of Bane. I love Tom Hardy's Bane. This is really, I think, the only Tom um, hearty pop as of yet so i think having this pop it's a nice exclusive i got it for a really good deal now this is my basic behind the video uh, pennywise with teeth i love this pop uh we go to crash bandicoot gamestop exclusive Beezrus, uh, this pop I got on Black Friday. I'm so happy to find it because it went up for like 10 bucks, and this pop has been like $100 forever. Uh, Eric Killmonger Chase, I love Eric. He's one of the best villains in the MCU and one of the best villains in comic book movies. Hellboy, I had to get this chase. I pre-ordered like 10 of these at GameStop. So if you guys ever want to get a chase and guarantee chase, go to GameStop and pre-order around seven to eight pops, and I promise you there should at least be one chase. This has worked for me three times now, and that's really the best way to do it. Now, this is these are my four favorite pops. I have the Haunted Mansion collection, so you got Ezra and Gus right here, and you got Phineas and Hatbox goes there. Those are my four favorites, and I actually got the whole set for a hundred bucks, and each pop's almost worth a hundred dollars now, so it was a total steal. And of course, you also got Martian Manhunter right here. I really like this pop. I got it for like five bucks on Walmart's website, but it was a total, total thing. Then I got the Chimichanga truck from Deadpool right here. I love this. My dad came home and showed me this and got me it, and I, I, it was a great present. Of course, you got Zia Records right there. That's where I get a lot of my pops. So if you're ever in Arizona or I think also Utah and Las Vegas, Nevada, I think they have some Zia Records there too, but seriously, great place to go. Uh, Deadpool with his little pony. I love this pop. I love just Deadpool pops in general. I wish I had more. I can't wait for the new ones coming out later this year. Ren and Stimpy. Now, this pop, I needed so bad. I was going to get the other ones, but then when I saw this coming up, it's only, you see right there, it's only limited to 2,500 pieces, and I had to. I, I love this episode. Happy, happy, joy, joy, Ren and Stimpy. It was one of my favorite episodes as a kid. Now, here we go. Black Lantern Reverse Flash. Really like this pop. I love this edition of Flash. I think this is one of the only Flash pops I actually own, but uh, I just like the Black Lantern and the look of him. And then down here, Frodo Baggins Invisible from Lord of the Rings. I have to have him right next to my Lord of the Rings clash. And I really like the invisibility of him, and I know there's a uh, Golem one coming out soon like that, and I can't wait to get that one. And, of course, the last thing I like to show is that this is what's behind me. These are the pops that I've opened, and some of them I regret opening. But whatever. Uh, Hemdall, I love Hemdall. Oswald the Rabbit, I love this. I need to get the epic Mickey, Mickey of him. Uh, Caesar, right here, we got. We also got Woody, Drax. You got little baby Groot, Rocket, Groot, Howard the Duck, Dark Knight, 
uh, Zod, which I really like the Zod pop. Winter Soldier, which I got him for like five bucks. And the Fanta Phantasm. That, that, all great pops. I like putting these. I usually switch these out. I know a Valkyrie was behind here for a little bit, but of course I moved her to a different spot. Move up. This is what's actually above this whole wall. I'm standing on a chair right now, but this is what's up here. I got some other pops right here. The Spider-Man Homecoming Venom. This pop right there was actually my second pop that I've ever actually owned. I love the Venom pop. I love the look of it. You can kind of just zoom in right there, see kind of the whole flare of him. As you move from the side, you can see my Deadpool slash Venom prop right there. Sorter, I really like that pop. That pop was really hard to find, I know. Green Goblin, Doctor Strange, another Doctor Strange pop. I love how if you look in there, you can kind of see that he's using some magic. Uh, Khaled Silly, I love the, the glitter around his eyes. I think that's such a unique touch to throw in there, and that's really the main reason I bought that pop. As you move up here, you can find my Daredevil exclusive, Anti-Venom, Carnage, of course, and also Venom from MVC, Marvel vs. Capcom. I love all three of these. I actually own all the Venom pops besides the exclusive Anti-Venom that's Glow in the Dark, but I don't really care for that one. Uh, Taskmaster slash uh, Lightning McQueen, Lightning McQueen, Rocket with Potted Groot, you can see a little Potted Groot right there with him, a uh, Groot with Badge, uh, this is like Teenage Groot from the ending of Guardians of the Galaxy Volumes 2, I really like this one, uh, as you look up there you see Killer Croc, Boomerang, Rick Flag, Deadshot, you can see the whole Suicide Squad up there with some other Marvel characters, and of course you see that Deadpool pull, that Deadpool pop up there, that is actually my very first pop ever, and I love that pop to death. Now as we go back down here, you can see the Punisher, we got Tony Stark from Spider-Man Homecoming, this was another Comic-Con exclusive, like the I little Tony Stark head in there. Uh, here's all my Spider-Mans, I got Superior Spider-Man, Iron Spider-Man, Black Suit Spider-Man, Scarlet Spider-Man, and Spider-Man 2099 up there. Uh, Kitty Pride up here that I really like here, and she, plus she has a little dragon in there, I like that. Uh, Iceman is a great addition, Colossus, I like the Chrome in him. Blade, I, Blade was one I had to get. And then of course, before we get up to there, I have Yondu, Cosmo, and Dig Dug. And now before we get into this, because the rest of this side is either horror and... And before we get to the rest of this, the rest of this side is all horror TV shows and everything that I watch. So here's my Heisenberg pop, another good pop that that's the same guy who got I got the Haunted Mansion from. He also had the Heisenberg pop for a really good deal and threw it in there. Uh, Game of Thrones right here. We're going to get to my Game of Thrones collection. Let's get right into it. So as you look at my Game of Thrones, you can see they're right there. I, I love these Game of Thrones pops. I love them all right there. Uh, the Hound is probably my first favorite pop that I've ever gotten. It's the most expensive pop that I've actually bought for a lot, and it was totally worth it because he's my favorite character in all of Game of Thrones. Uh, you also got Le Leanne Mormont, Night King, and of course right under here you got Old Man Logan. Can't forget to talk about that one. Darth Maul, Pennywise with Chase. Uh, this is one of the hardest pops to, to find. It actually never got technically released. Uh, it accidentally got released before they lost the rights and then they can't make them anymore. I don't know if that's changed, but I love this pop. Uh, Alex D. Large, Mask, this was, came in a surprise box from Hot Topic. Really excited about that one. Uh, Twisty, Freddy Krueger with the syringes, Jason Voorhees. And those are like all my main horror ones that I really like. I have some other ones, but those are my main ones. And then up here, I have the Iron Throne that Mr. Heisenberg displays on. I have one one from uh, Game of Thrones, of course. You got Carol, Daryl. Uh, you got the little imp right here from Game of Thrones. I love Tyrion. Uh, you got Ghost. The bitch in the back, Michonne and Gus. I love all these pops. I love all. I, I, and you know, you're probably wondering why did you open these up? I actually found them like this. this and of course, going up here, you can see Ezekiel, Richard, Negan, Clean Shave, Dwight, the Governor. I have a ton of Walking Dead ones. If you can't see from right here, uh, the Governor, Penny, Jesus, Herschel. I mean, I, Walking Dead and Game of Thrones are kind of like the main ones that I'm I'm collecting. And then of course, if you look up here, some Silicon Valley, Cat Dog, another Negan, uh, It. These are kind of like all my TV shows with some other things mixed in there. Uh, I really like all these pops. Here you can see some other TV shows, some Walking Dead in there, some South Park, some Preacher, some Rugrats. I also got the Purple Reptar. Some Stranger Things is even in there. That Steve pop is amazing. I love the Steve pop. It's one of the main ones I can get. Uh, Mast Elliot, I love that one. And uh, Ash vs. the Evil Dead. If you never watch Ash vs. the Evil Dead, you are missing out. But also, if you can't see from right here, you know, we can kind of look at the rest of that. But we get to my next shelf over here, and you got Black Panther. Just zoom in right there. And you also have Deadpool. And you got a little Pulp Fiction one right there, John Travolta. I was so excited to see that one, because I'm actually trying to collect all those. See, John Wick is right here. John Wick Chase was one of the main ones that I needed. I love John Wick, and the fact this is all bloody, it's just one 
Uh, moving over here, you got La La Land. I was so happy to see that they announced this when it actually came out. I freaked out a little bit. Uh, now, these two are some of my two favorite pops, and that is Jolly Rogers and the Abominable Snowman. Uh, Jolly Rogers I got for a really good deal. Some guy traded it in, and I found him. A uh, Snowman I got for like 30 bucks from this nice collector in, in, in Arizona, and I was so happy to get this one because I, I, I can't just drive out to California and go buy a pop. Um, some more Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, Captain Salazar, I love that chase. And you also got Cursed Barbosa. Really dig that one. Now here we go, we go to some Rick and Morty. You got Squanchy, Snowball, Twinkles, Chromipolis, Michael, and Evil Morty. Now I love all the Rick and Morty ones and they just have to stay side by side. But honestly, Twinkles and Squanchy, I'll zoom in on these two because these two are probably my favorite ones in the whole Rick and Morty collection. Now moving down here, we got some Star Wars ones. I got the, the Skywalker play a little bit in here. Uh, we got my black light right here that I actually used to make the glow in the dark work. Uh, but this is like my whole Star Wars collection. So I got Kylo Ren. I do have other Star Wars pops, but these are the main ones that I've opened. Uh, Luke, Leia, and Han. And then if you go over here, you can find my other two Star Wars ones that I have just sitting there with my movies. And as we move down here, we got Jack Torrance Pop. I got, I got traded for that one. I really like the chase of that. Invader Zim Robot Gur. I love this pop. It was such a big surprise to find it. And you know, when you, when you go to the back of it, uh, it doesn't show what else is with him, but there's one of him actually with just the dog suit up and it's glow in the dark that I really recommend that I wish I could have found. Uh, but as we go down here, Ste uh, so we got Scott Pilgrim Nega Scott. This is the only Scott Pilgrim one I have, sadly. These are like far and few between to find. There's some not rare ones, but I really want this. I really want to collect more of them. They just get really expensive. And the last one I have down here is just normal Logan. I, I dig the Logan, and he's kind of just sitting back there because Logan's right there, but I, I like the pop. I like the pop. Just like the other side, of course, if you look over there and pan over there, you can kind of see there's some stacked over there. Well, I have some as well over here. I have Jon Snow, Ramsey Bolton, Battle of the Bastards, 2-pack Game of Thrones, a Scorpion, and Sub-Zero. Now, I love this because it's like Scorpion just froze... Uh, or sorry, Sub-Zero just froze Scorpion and Scorpion just caught him on fire. I love that. It's a game top exclusive. We also go right here, Mag the Mighty Game of Thrones. This is one of the giants. We also got Supreme Leader Snoke. This one glows in the dark. Pretty cool glows on that one. Overwatch, we got another Reinhardt. And of course, on this side, just like that side, if you look over there, we got another Dragon Flying. We got Daenerys and Drogon. I love this pop. I love these, like, ride pops. I think they're really cool. Now, if we go down here, you can find a find Scrooge McDuck. I'm also, he usually isn't here, but I'm trying to find something else to go in that spot. We'll pan over here. We'll find my meth dealing truck from Breaking Bad with Jesse in there and my Indiana Jones Jeep. I love, love, love that pop. It is so great. And now one of the biggest pops that I own is down here, the Incredible Hulk. Yes, I have the, <laughs> the huge gigantic 10 inch pop. I was so lucky to find it at a Target. I, I love this pop. I love this. I also have the Groot one, which we'll get to in a little bit. Before I pan up, of course, I wanted to show you guys a lot of this. So this is my desk that I work at. And of course, I have some pops right here to show you. I have all the Kingsman pops right there. I have a Kakashi sent by me by Justin Watches Movies, who does a bunch of pop giveaways. So if you're into pops, make sure to go check out his channel because he, he, he's an awesome guy. Uh, David from Alien. He used to be over by the Alien Collection, but I like him being on my desk. Shuri and Valkyrie are also over here. And then, of course, we got Ash for army of darkness i cut up to here these are kind of the pops that just sit up here some of these i don't really care for anymore I like doomsday i kind of just got because i was like oh yeah doomsday and then i was like oh yeah it kind of looks like an ugly ninja turtle but of course we have liberty prime battle i love fallout and i have a lot of the fallout series which we'll see later on uh, atlas and pilot i really like this game top exclusive it, it's weird they didn't have a sticker it's underneath the box somewhere under there but it, titanfall is a really good game if you never play it a group this is a life-size baby group i told you guys i had it i kept it in the box because i really like this one but eventually i'll probably take him out uh stay puff marshmallow man giant man and tyrant from resident evil i love all these pops they're all very unique and different up to here of course you can see that i have the bumblebee pop there and i honestly don't know why i own that bumblebee pop but i think it's cool another game of thrones dragon gandalf a balrog i love this pop i think the, the, just the whole thing about it just looks great um of course you got little blinky there from pac-man you got right here another Destiny's Pop, Crota. Or not, that's not Crota. Um, I don't remember his name. Oh, Lord, Lord, Nat. I don't remember. Someone else will put it down in the comments. Uh, Team Fortress. I hope they make the rest of these because I love this pop so much. Uh, Lord Shaxx right there from Destiny. Uh, some Borderlands 2. I love the Tiny Tina. She's my favorite character from Borderlands, so I was really happy that they made her. Looking at this as well, you can see I have all the Bioshock ones right here. I love the little sister. I actually want to get more of the little sisters and kind of do the whole thing around the Big Daddy. Uh, Dwight. 
from Bioshock Infinite. I want to get Elizabeth soon because I do have the Songbird up there. And of course, I have the Brumok from Gears of War. I hope they make a general Ram uh, Funko Pop, not just the Ministry Mini, but that's why they're kind of just sitting there. And then we kind of move here. I have a Doom Pop right there, Doom Mystery Mini, a Diablo Mystery Mini, another Diva, and of course, we got King Kong right there. And if you can't see in the background, that is Ant-Man riding on top of Anthony. And I... <laughs> I love Ant-Man so much, and just the giant ant pop is just great, and I, I, I overall really like this King Kong pop. I, I actually haven't watched Kong Skull Island yet, I've heard some mediocre things about it, I own it, but I like the pop in general. Alright, so you guys have obviously, if you've seen my room tour, you've seen this case before, obviously some of it has been different, but here's my Fallout. These are all my Fallout pops that I own, I have so many, I have a ton of them, and of course you can see that I have the ghoul down there as well, and I have right here the grand little dog me. I, I love, I, I, I like all the Fallout Pops. I think they're really good. I think the Hancock one's probably my favorite one I own. But yeah, there's some really nice fu uh, Fallout Pops in there. Of course, if you're looking at some Mystery Minis, I have some more Gears of War Mystery Minis and some other ones kind of up here hiding. This is actually the one in 72 that was given to me by my sister in a Mystery Mini, so that was a nice surprise. Now, this is the most important thing. This is my Funko wall. I'm gonna get really in depth with it. I just wanted to show you how high up this thing actually really is. This is my Funko wall. Uh, there's some of these pops I really don't care for and I'm actually selling a ton of these, but um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Alright, so starting in this corner, we got Aragorn and Arwen from Lord of the Rings. I love the two-pack right there. Beetlejuice told you I had some more horror. Another Jack Sparrow, Orm from Alien Covenant. I couldn't fit him over there, so I chose my two favorites. A Crota is a Target exclusive. I remember this thing coming out was like 100 bucks, and the chase was even more of a joke. Zur, I, I think he's one of the most cool-looking pops. I think you get in there. You can kind of just see the detail on him. Uh, Luna Lovegood, I think, is one of the few Harry Potter pops I actually do own, but I just love her intrigue and how different she is. Uh, Clark Kent, Moon Knight, and then this, the three cereal pops. I'm planning on trying to find the other ones, but I love these pops. I was so lucky to get them during, I think it was, uh, New York Comic Con is when they dropped, and, I mean, they were really hard to find, but I was really happy to find them. Uh, The Tick was a Barnes Noble shared exclusive for 2017 Comic Con. Aries, Kevin Smith, Elliot Anderson, Chase. Moving down, we got Scorpion with Flaming Skull, which is probably in my top 20 favorite pops I own. Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn, Figment, The Collector, Man Bats, Officer K, Abe Sapien, Freddy Funko. Now, you can only get this at that Funko HQ, and another big shout out to Justin Washington because I won this off his channel and I actually wanted the giveaways, and I was really happy to win this because I love Seattle. And there's actually a Dorbs for it that I think I accidentally passed to Freddy, but I like the Dorbs, I like this. And he's holding a little Seattle needle, so it's pretty cool. I want to go to this HQ one day. Then we go to Deckard, George Sanderson, another, if you guys remember those Haunted Mansion Pops, I actually got the same pop for them, he kind of just threw this one in for like five bucks extra, and I love, love, love George Sanderson. Freddy Funko, another thing from the Seattle Comic Con, my dad actually went up there for a business meeting, met it, went in there, and got this pop for me, and I think it was pretty cool. Unmasked Coral from Dishonored. Uh, Dishonored 2 is a very unique game, and I loved it. The, just this unmasked Corvo I got. It was like three bucks at GameStop. Uh, Harley Quinn in uh, HQ Inmate. This is the only <laughs> Suicide Squad pop I think I left that I did not open. But I like her. I like her in this little outfit. Ghostface, Pinhead, Vivek, uh, Eagles in the Dark. Thought it was pretty cool. Brandon Huff from Step Brothers. Yeah, I get him. Wonder Woman Walmart exclusive. I got it because honestly, I like Wonder Woman, but I, I thought the pose she was doing was pretty cool. Fluffy, I, I mean, Fluffy, Scareglow, Superman, he got a little red Stormtrooper, thanks to my friend's sister, Princess Leia, love that Princess Leia, Resistance BB Unit, Buzz Lightyear, Woody, Rex, and Ham, and I am so excited for the other Toy Story ones debuting later on, I need to get the other ones that are older, Maleficent Chase, this one actually glows, if you don't see it, she actually has the flame behind her, that actually all glows, this was a Hot Topic exclusive, this is the first Chase I ever found, and the lady at Hot Topic really helped me find this one, I was really appreciative of that, DJ, Another Princess Leia, another Luke Skywalker, which is probably my favorite uh, Star Wars pop I own. Uh, it's just him, the hood, Return of the Jedi tech bullshit. Uh, Captain America right there. This is probably one of my favorite Marvel ones I own. It's just old school. Negatron, Tyrael, Diablo, The Killing Joke. I love that one. Armored Batman, Terra, Blackfire, Jinx. Kind of just see all these. These are all most of my Dragon Ball ones. Uh, I wish they would make a Kid Boo one because I love Mashin Boo, but I love Kid Boo even more. Golden Frieza is very cool. I know Golden Frieza is very hard to find. I think that was actually one of the first pops I also ever got. Walked in the store, saw it, and I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, Super Saiyan, Rose, Goku, Black. I, I, he's pretty badass. Uh, Predator. This is another one of the few first pops I ever got. I just like how it's invisible, and you kind of just, the detail to it, just the blood on him is just great. You get Slimer. The Black Knight Flesh Wounds, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, I have such great memories with, and I was really happy. 
Oh, but it looks like I lied. I did have some other Suicide Squad ones. Batman, Batman, and the Joker all right there. Uh, BB-8. Uh, we got some more Overwatch ones. Overwatch is one of the main lines I do collect. Uh, you got Soldier 76, May, and I actually do like this May because if you can see him right there, you can kind of see little, her little buddy floating around him. Uh, Symmetra, Lucio, Reaper, Farah, McCree, another Farah. Uh, these, this was from the Seattle Comic Con. This is from the Funko website. I, I don't know why I own those, but I think they're pretty cool. Tracer. Organization 13 Mickey Mouse. Now, this is a glow in the dark chase. I ordered this because I just wanted Organization 13. I didn't care if I got the chase. And I opened it and I, I almost screamed when I saw that I had the chase. This pop is probably my favorite one in the whole Kingdom Hearts collection. But I, Kingdom Hearts is a, I love Kingdom Hearts. And just seeing it, it's hooded Mickey, the badass Mickey himself. Uh, we got the three Halloween Town ones right here. Really like all these. And we move down Kingdom Hearts. We got another Chippendale, Mickey, Donald, Goofy, Tron. Some other Kingdom Hearts ones right here I actually really do enjoy. I think I'm only missing two from the whole line right now. I know there's a couple others I don't really care for, but there's only two I'm actually needing. A Smarty Weasel is one of my favorite ones. Same with General Grievous. I just like the detail. I want to actually collect all the Roger Rabbit ones. But yeah, so we got all these. Thrawn, Sabine, Ahsoka, Wicket, Jawa, Boba Fett, Rey, Chewbacca, Finn, and another Chrome C-3PO. Now we got some Ghost in the Shells, uh, Major and Major. I actually like the, that movie. I actually enjoyed it. I thought there was a lot of visual aesthetics that were really cool. Oogie Boogie, Pumpkin King, Jack the Vampire, Behemoth, Wally, Stitch and Scrum slash Angel, Elvis Stitch, Stitch 626, and I already showed you guys everything on that side. So we'll go back down here. We got Mojo Jojo, Bubbles, Martian the Manhunter, which I I love Duck Dodgers. I miss that show. Um, Michael J. F uh, Michigan J. Fox. I love Looney Tunes. And then the Animaniacs. I mean, God, the Animaniacs is great. Pinky and the Brain. Monkey Bomb. Now, I love zombies for Call of Duty, so I had to get both of these. I just like the Toasted one because that's part of one of the Easter eggs. And then the Monkey Bomb. I, I, I love them. Atheon, Sweet Tooth, and then three more Gears of War ones. This Marcus Phoenix one, I drove 45 minutes to go get. And I was so happy the GameStop held it for me. I didn't even know he came out, and I was so lucky to get him. We also got Newt Scamander, Niffler, some more Fallout ones right there, Akuma, Nemesis, who Akuma is actually my favorite Street Fighter character, so I, that's why I only own him, because he's really the only character I ever play as if I ever play Street Fighter. Some Resident Evil, some Mass Effect, Assassin's Creed, Claptrap. Now, this is actually one of the mystery boxes that GameStop had. I actually really like this Borderlands one. It was a mystery box, came out, and it was golden. I freaked out a little bit. Plus, it had the EB exclusive, and that's actually only in Canada, so they shipped the wrong box there, so I thought it was pretty cool. Kratos, Lieutenant Simmons, Ghost Riley, Funtime Foxy, and Jacko Chica. And that is my wall, everyone. Wow. Yeah, guys, so that is my pop collection. Yeah, this is my current one. Like I said, a couple months, a couple weeks, even a couple days. Some of these might be gone. Some of them might be moved. Some of them might be completely changed. I might already have new ones. And be out of already room, because I actually am already out of room. But yeah, that's my pop collection. I love collecting pops. I think they're all super unique. And some of them are super intriguing. And seeing tons of cool ones are coming out this year after Toy Fair just came out. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a ton to me. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, go check out all my social media links down below. And of course, you guys know what I'm going to say next. Check out Sam Sean Films as well, also down below. Love being a part of this website. We give out advanced movie screens and movie news. And also some giveaways over on the, the website. So make sure to go check us out down below. And until next time, stay classy, and of course, have a great rest of your day.